let's get to the clubhouse culture. Uh, we're already hearing from uh, Jessica Mendoza, who I respect immensely. I, I truly enjoy her work on ESPN, talking about how Mike Fires broken Omerta code, essentially, is what I'm, I'm paraphrasing. She said that today. Fires is beginning to, guess, getting some heat uh, for talking to the athletic. Um, is he in some sort of uh, code violation that can affect his playing career and his ability to be a teammate, Tom, do you think? No, I, I don't think so. I, I, <laughs> listen, if he's in trouble because he's a truth teller, there's something wrong with this world. You know, his only agenda, and I truly believe this, is he wants a clean game. I don't know how you hold that against anybody. You know, it reminds me of when I wrote the story about steroids in baseball and talked to Ken Caminiti in 2002. And on the record, he was the first guy to basically say the emperor had no clothes. This has been going on, and I have nothing to hide. And there were people who called him a snitch. But you know what? The game is better off for knowing that instead of living with a very dirty game that was all kept under the covers. I have no problem with what Mike Fires did. Um, listen, the guy pitched more innings than anybody on the 2017 Astros. He was left off the postseason roster. Uh, maybe he had some hard feelings. I don't know. But I do know that as a member of the Tigers and then the A's the next couple of years, he told his teammates, be careful in Houston, man. These guys can pick up signs in, in legal and illegal ways like nobody else. Uh, and he wanted to stop it. I have no problem with a guy who, if his agenda is to clean up the game, I'm all for that. We have a better game when we let the players decide the outcome of the games and not technology. Well, and then that, that leads me again to how the current Astros are going to be viewed uh, by players around the league. CC Sabathia has been very vocal. He's pissed. He thinks he's got he had a title stolen from him. Uh, how will the the Astros who who said let's bang let's bang the uh, the can and 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 anybody in any locker room knows certainly when you're in a championship team you look around when you're maybe uh, spraying champagne on your teammates you all know every championship team knows any player in college knows that the championship team you're looking at in the locker room is going to change people are going to disperse and wind up in different spots how, did they not care? that people would around the league know that they're cheaters based on uh, other players talking? I mean, how will the Astros be viewed in all of this, do you think? Well, I'm glad you asked that question because when you think about CeCe Sabathia or David Fries or Trevor Plouffe or Phil Hughes or some of these other players who come out and said some things about the Astros, I'm not talking about Hinch or Crane or Luna, the Astros players, what's the common denominator? They're all out of the game. You tell me, where is the noise from current players complaining about what the Astros were proven to do in the 2017 and 18 seasons? There is radio silence. And you know the answer to why that's the case, Rich. Because, I, because, <laughs> because it was a very common thing right. in 2017. That's why. I mean, I'm still waiting for somebody to, to complain that, hey, you know, someone, an active player to say the Astros did something that nobody else was doing. You're not going to hear that. And they, I'm, no way am I excusing what the Astros did because they continued to do it after they were warned in September of 17 and March of 18. But the fact is, in 15, 16, and before September 15th of 17, this was common in baseball. This was the result of putting a challenge-based replay system in place where live feeds with a camera focused on home plate, was put within walking distance of the dugout. That was Pandora's box. It opened up, and then the commissioner tried to shut it. So is it shut now? It is to that degree. I mean, it's sort of, you know, again, I, the steroid parallel is just too easy not to go to because, you know, I couldn't tell you today that nobody uses PEDs, but I can tell you it's a lot harder. It's the same case with misusing technology. We now have cameras uh, that are not dedicated on the on home plate. Uh, a team cannot put any cameras between the foul poles other than the network cameras. And the monitors now in the clubhouse and on the replay are on eight-second delay, so you can't get real-time uh, video to, to steal signs from. So it's a lot harder. That actually began in terms of monitoring the televisions in uh, the 18 postseason. I don't think the Ast or the Red Sox were able to do in the 18 postseason what the Astros did in the 17 postseason. Um, are there workarounds? And you know, athletes, when there's money at stake and competition is at stake, and we keep score, and you're looking for an edge, you'll find ways. 
But you can't do it the way you did it in 17, for sure. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.